This is my story. Story about what happened to me one day before class on a on a Thursday, I believe. I, I never could get the hang of Thursdays. But but anyway, on this particular Thursday, I picked up the paper like I always do, and this time I had bought myself a nice bag of uh, cookies. Cookies being one of my favorite treats. So I headed off to uh, a bench where I do my daily ritual of uh, reading the paper and keeping up with current events. And this time I see another person sitting at that bench. And I thought nothing of it. He looked like a perfectly normal person. So I walked over to that bench. So I sat down, pulled the international section of the paper out, and set the rest aside for later, along with my cookies. And the person across from me didn't look like he was going to do anything weird at all, looked like a perfectly normal person, but what he did was this. He suddenly leaned over, picked up the bag of cookies, tore it open, took one out, and consequently ate it. Now, I must say, in neither my upbringing nor education had I ever been taught how to deal with someone who has just in broad daylight stolen my cookies. So I thought to myself, what am I going to do in this situation? So I did what anybody in my situation would do, ignore it as if nothing had happened. So I thought nothing of it and reached over for a cookie for myself. So I thought, that settled him. He won't be eating any more of my cookies now. But it wasn't a moment or two later when he reached into the bag and grabbed another cookie. Having not mentioned it the first time, it was somehow even harder to raise the subject the second time around. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice. I mean, it doesn't really work. So, I grabbed another cookie. And, he another. So, we went through the whole packet like this. When I say the whole packet, I mean there were only about 15 little cookies in there, but it felt like a lifetime. He took one, I took one, he took one, I took one. And we just sat there, eating our cookies in silence, reading the paper. Finally, when we got to the end, he stood up, grabbed the last cookie, shoved the bag in his pocket, and walked away. We exchanged a few meaningful looks as he left. So I sat there, relieved the whole ordeal was finally over, but still frustrated somebody had eaten half my cookies. I realized I had class soon, so I picked up my paper and started to head over. But as I picked up the paper, I noticed my cookies were there. The thing I like particularly about this story is the sensation that somewhere else there is a perfectly normal person with the exact same story as me. Except, I'm the one who has the punchline.